Righto, Toyota champs, this laptop here is a laptop you never have to upgrade. Yeah, nah, outside, you know, breakage or I just want a new laptop, I'm never going to have to upgrade this thing. That really sounds weird coming from a man that's upgraded countless amount of laptops in the last five, six, seven years. But it's really true. This MacBook Pro, well, actually, it doesn't matter if it's a MacBook Pro 14, 16, M1, M2. They really, truly are laptops that you do not need to upgrade. And lucky for that, because you can't upgrade them. So I'm going to tell you why. I mean, what makes these laptops so special that I've stopped upgrading now? So in 2015, I got an XPS 15 and I uploaded my first sort of tech YouTube video. Channel's been open longer for that, but I didn't really use it. And I really didn't start making consistent content until about 2017. Now I bought the XPS 15 at the time because the MacBook Pro was sort of in transition. The 215 model was getting a bit long in the tooth and many people thought that was the go of sort of MacBook Pros. But the XPS 15 had, you know, 4K display, the latest Intel CPUs, did for all this sort of stuff that made it amazing at that time and then the Mac sort of got caught in no man's land for many years like 216 217 218 they started to get a bit better but we all know they lost all the ports they were using old processors they were using DDR3 and they had that rubbish keyboard that everybody complained about right that broke so I started to sort of use Macs 217, 218, they started to get a bit better and then I was flipping between Macs and PCs, upgrading all the time. And the reason I was upgrading is because I needed the performance. The first XPS 15, 2015, a 10 minute video would take 50 minutes to render. I'm not joking, 50, 5 minutes to render. And actually using H.264, H.265, because mostly I do video editing. It wasn't the best editing experience either, whether it was Mac or PC, but that was as good as you could get on laptops at that time. So I was always upgrading, you know, from Mac to PC, whatever was faster, whatever suited my, you know, situation at the time. You know, the renders went from 50 to 40 minutes to 30 to 20 and to 15. And it sort of was around 2018, you know, and maybe 2020 that the Macs were sort of faster for what I was doing. So I sort of switched to the Macs then. But still, I needed to upgrade the latest AMD GPU, the latest CPU. And even with the XPS, I was using both actually at the time. We needed the latest NVIDIA graphics or Intel CPU to get the performance I wanted for video editing. Now software improved in that time as well and now it's got to a point where I don't need to upgrade anymore and it's not just performance too it's just real world things like the 2015 XPS 15 would last about four or five hours on battery. It was 4K, that's how it was at the time. Yeah, nuts, right? Now with these M1 and M2 MacBook Pros, and it doesn't matter, you can get the base model here. I actually had a decked out 16 inch maximum RAM, 64 gigs RAM, and yeah, it was faster than my current MacBook Pro 14, which I have an M1, but it was mostly faster rendering. In the timeline where I edit, I hardly can tell the difference between the base model MacBook Pro 14 and the decked out 16 inch. Rendering, I can tell the difference and when I, you know, put a heap of stuff there and I'm using lots of RAM, yes, there are some differences, but for all intents and purposes here, I never need to upgrade this laptop unless things change. I use 6K video, ProRes RAW HEVC, H.264, and unless I upgrade my camera, and it's going to have to be a big upgrade, I don't see why I have to upgrade this laptop. It has everything I want. Best display. When you see HDR content on these Macs, you'll be blown away. I edit HDR content only now. The performance is there. For the stuff I use, it more than does the job. When the new M3 comes out, I don't care. What's it going to do? Give me a little bit faster render. The reality is with the assets I use now, it performs good enough and I don't feel the need to upgrade for performance. Now if I get a 12K camera or something, I don't know, and I start using B-RAW or something different like Red RAW, maybe I want a newer, more powerful model. But if I use the same cameras, the same assets, the same content, power-wise, I don't have to upgrade. Best keyboard, best battery life, everything is the best. I don't hear the fans. It's just quality of life, right? And because it's the 14 inch, it's portable, I take it with me anywhere and everywhere and I get the same performance on battery. So Apple, you've made a product that is actually too good. It's actually like my son's iPad because he's got the old iPad with the, you know, physical button, not the simulated click button. I don't know how old that iPad is, 
but it's still going it still does everything he needs and it's still got good battery life and it's got to be five six years old something like that crazy and i think this laptop i mean i don't even think the m3s are going to tempt me because they're going to be based on what what are we on the a16 whatever the silicon we're using in the iphone now it's not a huge leap over say the a14 right so we know that the m3 probably not going to be a huge leap again you know they'll add more cpu cores more gpu cores more efficiency but until they do a revolution like the m1 and just have like night and day difference again this is the laptop i'm never going to have to upgrade and this you know there's wear and tear on it where i have to upgrade it or i just want a new laptop or i'd change you know camera or something like that what an amazing machine let me know what you guys think i'll catch you in the next one tally ho